Hey, what's up, guys? Um, to get a look at 24, just want to show you modifications I did to the car. I put the maximizers, long tube headers on there, high flow cats, and electric cutout. Uh, we're gonna give you a sound of the new exhaust. It has the stock muffler still, I think it still has the H pipe, and some three and a half by 18 inches long um, exhaust tips got the chickens under the um, the trailer my trailer uncles okay here we go oh and I must say um, the way I modified the the cats there's a video on it right now uh, uh, you could look at so you can hear um, there's like a exhaust leak on it which was to be expected but here you go It's a cold start by the way, so should get low, idle, we'll calm down in a little bit. Alright, right now it's closed. Open it up for you. It would have been hella loud <laughs> if with a cold start with it open. I'll probably make a video on that later. But that's open. Oh yes, I love that sound. Alright, then I close it back up. What do you guys think? Um, open it again. You can hear the rattling. I guess that's from the uh, cutouts. I rev it, but you know, I gotta get it up close to it. Anyways. Sounds hella loud whenever I'm driving. Um, car did get faster with the long tubes. Uh, almost like a half a second faster. But there are some issues with these headers. Uh, it rubs on the steering column, steering shaft, or I don't know what it's called. But when I turn it to the left and to the right, there's a, a pressure spot on it. And um, I do have a problem with that, you know. The installer said that it probably go away the more I drive it. But I do worry a bit because of that. Y'all let me know if any of y'all had any issues with that. I know OBX also makes the similar kit to the maximizers. I don't know if they're the same company or what, but it is what it is. I'll keep driving like that. Hopefully, I don't have any issues. They end up crashing, you know, because I love my car. But if not, then I'll probably switch to stainless works, which 
some people always recommend just to go straight to that company instead of trying anything else but if not I'll see if I'll fix it you know um, cut that pipe and bend it and adjust it to, so that it don't hit anymore but anyways that's, that's my car open I forgot to say that um, the high flow cats they look hollowed out you know when I first bought the kit I didn't pay attention but when I had the when I had the muffler shop uh, to modify the the whole exhaust because I didn't want to go with the next pipe um, I thought they had gutted them and I asked them and so they said they, they just did what I told them to do you know but that that's just how these high flow cats are and so there's no check engine light with this um, long tubes and uh, the maximizer kit um, and I ran it for over a hundred miles and no check engine light has come on So I guess we're all good on that part. Um, shout out Tomba Muffler and Brakes. They're, they're, they're the ones who originally modified the cutouts and the cats. And shout out to the performance shop in Magnolia, Texas. He's the one who installed it. His name is Chris. Appreciate that, man. Um, family business, you know, so close by to where I live so I like supporting uh, the local community anyways I uh, like in the car man pretty good it turns a lot of heads with these big ass wheels 17 by 12 um, shout out to stock 10 uh, wheel services in Inc. in California they're the ones who widen them for me going with the front as well probably 17 by 10 but um, that'll be later all right guys well take a look at 24 appreciate you have a nice day the fucking rattling yeah what it is they did say go to stainless works hitters don't waste your time all right peace out